I've never seen anything like this. This is one of the few liminal regions in Rashagal. You don't expect us to climb this, do you? Uh, I don't even have hands! Look out! The military? I suppose they don't want people seeing what they're up to here. Can you handle it? I can't. I'm pinned down. A distraction. I'll draw the shooter's attention. You take care of the rest. You're gonna be the bait? That's quite dangerous. It'll be fine. Trust me. Very well. We'll leave this to you. Thanks. Did he dodge that? Uh, what? Oh! Thank you. Sudden dramatic saves are my specialty. It's a mercenary thing. That feeling again. The same one from Fenmont. What's that? Ghost. I don't like the looks of that. We better hurry. Klein. So they were performing experiments on humans. Stop. It'll tear your hand right off. This device is just like the one that killed Professor House in the laboratory. Are they trying to build a Spyrex weapon here too? They shouldn't be so easy to make. So this is why they gave up the search for us. A bit of knowledge is a big danger to these people. The channeling circle being generated here isn't a closed type. I would assume the surplus spirit energy is flowing out from the top. If we enter the cavern from the top of the gorge and destroy the core producing the spirit arts, then we can save everyone. Let's go. is active now, but what can we do up here? Grow wings? Good thinking. I shall cast a channeling circle on the erupting spirit energy. We may be able to ride it down safely, but only if we can maintain control. So are we gonna dive in? Should've kept my mouth shut. We're only gonna get one chance to hit the core. <sighs> what are we waiting for? We have to save those citizens. Right. There's no other way. <laughs> Your metal is inspiring. <laughs> Thanks. Young lady, will you wait here, please? A 
All right then, hold on tight, okay? This might be a turbulent flight. There's Master Klein. Are you all right? Forgive me. I dashed off again without heeding your warnings, and I shouldn't have. I am just glad that you're safe. Do you know if Noctigal is still here? I came here to demand answers about all of this, but his personal guard took me captive. I see. Oh, I just hate, hate, hate this place! Let's get out of- This Spud's right. I'm getting bad vibes here. Watch out! Get back! doing wait can't you feel it what they're lesser spirits oh how wonderful wowie kazowie thank you jude I forgot myself, and nearly destroyed those lesser spirits. Oh... Um... Then, shall we return to Sherrilton? These people had intolerable amounts of mana extracted from them. Don't worry about me. Someone get these people to a hospital. Uh, uh, uh. Yes, sir! The doctors say all of the captured citizens will recover. You have my deepest gratitude, everyone. Mine, too. I can't thank you enough. I'm just glad everyone is okay. Well then, we should be going. Already? What's the rush? We'll have to pass through Fort Gandala from here. Fort Gandala? Then your destination must be Fenmont. Yes, I have unfinished business there. How do you plan to pass through the fortress? We'll just have to fight our way through. Not the easiest of plans. I shall send men to infiltrate the base. They will facilitate your passage. You sure you should be helping us? We are being chased by the military, after all. How Cheryl has never been particularly loyal to Noctigal. In fact, I just issued a formal complaint with the military and ordered their troops to withdraw. In other words, you're pretty much on the verge of war. Then we should take him upon his offer. It's certainly more appealing than a suicide charge. I see. Very well. We accept your offer. Excellent. After what you've done for my people, it is the least I can do. It will take some time to put the pieces in place, however. In the meantime, please, 
Make yourselves at home. Rowan, please remain with our guests. Make certain they want for nothing. As you wish, sir. Thank you. Wah hooray! Sleepover party with Drissel! <laughs> you got it. You all must be tired. I will have rooms readied. Speak with me when you wish to retire. Thank you, and sorry for being a burden. You have my gratitude, Rowan. I learned more than I thought I would. Alvin is a fine instructor when it comes to swordsmanship, but I haven't had any opportunities to study spirit arts. Happy to help. Although I suspect I taught little that you didn't already know. I'd never used techniques to control spirits before. I always did it by feel. You're that skilled despite a lack of formal instruction. Impressive indeed. I hope we might practice together again sometime. Nothing would please this old man more. Is that Jude? He is no doubt thinking of Miss Elise. She is a great source of concern for him. I saw it all over his face when he was looking at her earlier. He's caught in his own vicious cycle. He feels compelled to help people, but then he can't stop worrying once he gets involved. <laughs> He's just so... human. Hey! Allow me to handle this. They were trying to create a new key. I may not have much time left. You do not wish to retire, young master? Uh, not yet. I need some air. You seem burdened. Perhaps I could offer some counsel. Maybe. It's kind of personal. Is it about Miss Elise, perhaps? Huh? Uh, yeah. My young mistress was kind enough to recount how Miss Elise came to accompany you on your journey. Elise told Drissel about it? She's my responsibility. She has nothing to do with Mila's mission. I don't want to get her involved any more than she already is. Rowan, would the Sherrills be willing to take in Elise? She and Drissel get along so well. And you and Klein have been so nice to her. The girl is little more than a stranger to you. And yet she weighs heavily on your mind. Everyone teases me for being a do-gooding honor student. And maybe they're right. I just can't let things like this go. <laughs> Indeed. Please leave everything to me. I will discuss this matter with Lord Klein and Lady Drissel personally. Now you should rest. You need not add sleep deprivation to your list of burdens. Thanks. Good night. But of course, good night. As we suspected, he was doting over Miss Elise. He would like my master to take her in. I see. Despite his failings, Jude takes his responsibility seriously. Yes, he is a most clever boy. That he is. I still haven't heard from my people at Fort Gondala. I imagine you're growing impatient. Would you like me to dispatch Rowan to check on the preparations? Very well. I will send him at once. I'm counting on you, Rowan. I will not let you down. How long until you return? Let's see. It should take me no less than a day to get to and from on horseback. Oh. I suppose that means we'll have to bid farewell to our new friends tomorrow. Looks that way, if everything's on track. That settles it. Today, Ellie, Mila, and I are going shopping. Shopping? For real? Hooray! Time's a-wasting. Let's go! Wait, where are we going? I promised to take Ellie shopping, silly. If you're leaving tomorrow, today's our only chance. Ah, very well. You two carry on with your consumerism.
everyone, to the shops! To the, to shops! the shops! Wait, put me down. I have no need for trinkets. It's not gonna kill you to tag along. Yeah, you might actually enjoy acting like a human girl for once. A human girl? Strictly speaking, the concept of gender does not apply to me. I merely took the form of a woman upon manifesting in this realm. I can no longer obey the king. He uses his own people as pawns. It's time to stand against these tyrants. It's the only way to protect this precious peace of ours. Are you going to rebel? Is there going to be a war? I'm certain Noctigal has consolidated his power for an invasion on Azul. He has already shown that he's willing to sacrifice his own people to satisfy his ambition. If he isn't stopped, countless lives in Roshigal and Azul will be lost all for naught. I am the governor, and protecting the people who live here is something that I must do. That's not easy. You're right, but I'm responsible. Now, will you lend me your aid? But, well, I... Deposing Noctigal is in everyone's best interest. We must unite for this cause. Master! Klein! Damn it! Heal him, quickly! Uh, right! Right, I've made up my mind. Ellie, this is for you. Wow! That's not cheap! Just how much money do you have, Drissel? Now, don't be rude, Tipo. Thank you. <laughs> my pleasure. Hmm? You like that pendant, Mila? No, it's just similar to something I already have. It's just a boring glass ball. It is very pretty, though. Why do you have that? It was given to me long ago by a human child. And you've carried it ever since? What if you dropped it? That would be a dreadful shame. I would be happy to make it into a pendant like this one. Good idea. Let's do it. This is quite pleasing to the eye. Thank you. Ah, stop, please! Resist, and we will show no mercy. What is the meaning of this? Cease your attack this instant! The governor himself has ordered all Rashigal troops to leave the city. And you are? A member of House Cheryl. Hm. Foolish girl. I'm under orders from the king to wipe out any and all rebellious elements. You will come quietly. Or else. What? Take them into custody. House Cheryl is conspiring to rebel against the throne. the sound of this let's run the doll is right we must escape before we're surrounded something major is at play here stick with me you two okay well who do we have here <laughs> don't just stand there take her
This arrow is... No, Jude, please, you mustn't give up now. Rowan, you can't expect miracles. We know that the wound is mortal. It's up to you to look after the country now. But I know that I'm not up to the task. It's impossible. You of all people can do it. I know that you can. <sighs> Master, no. Don't go. <laughs> Lord Klein! <gasps> Please continue with your report. Yes, sir. The Rashigal army has invaded the town. Our troops are engaged throughout the city. Things just went from bad to worse. Mila and the others are out there. Very well. We must protect Lady Dracel at all costs. Master, please forgive me for having to leave your side. We must defend the manor. Yes, sir. Let's go! No! Is it over? You got them, yes? <clears throat> Arrest them all! Cell. Let's clear out these goons. No, it will take too long and waste our energy. down this instant! What point is there in fighting after you've completed your mission? Or are you mere savages who take delight in the suffering of your countrymen? Let us return to the manor. Right. Everything okay? Yes, I have made arrangements for Lord Klein's funeral, although the ceremony will be brief. How could this have happened? The arrow that took my master's life was of a unique design, one used only by Noctagall's personal guard. And considering the timing of the army's invasion, it's obvious this was all a plot by Noctagall. The assassination allowed him to seize complete control of Roshagal. Noctagal does think big. I wonder where they took Mila and the others. Fort Gandala, most likely. A single division of troops couldn't possibly attack multiple cities in a short time. It's reasonable to assume that Sapstrath Seahaven remained safe and under Cheryl control. Thus, our attackers must have been ordered to return to Fenmont. And Fort Gandala is the only place equipped to house troops between here and there. Good thinking. Makes sense to me. We have to save them! I like your moxie, kid, but we're talking about a fortress here. It's not like we can storm the walls. On the contrary, we do need to rush. Tonight may be our only chance. The morale among those troops was visibly low, and now they've been forced to march home after battle with no rest. They'll be at their weakest. And don't forget we have a trump card ready and waiting. That's right! The men we sent to infiltrate the fortress! We should depart at once.
A butler, huh? Who is this old man exactly? <laughs>